So what I have here is a source document which contains four languages, German to English, Chinese to English, French to English, and Russian to English. And I've repeated that pattern as I go down through the document. <clears throat> In my project settings, I've added through the NETM app, four TMs to suit the language pairs in the document. And you do that by clicking on file, or sorry, by clicking on add, any TM, and then you would just select your um, translation memory. And it adds this any TM at the beginning. The difference is it allows you to add a translation memory that doesn't necessarily match the language direction of the project. This is key. I've checked more on update. Then what I did, in my advanced tab, you have this button here called Mixed Source Language Translation. And if you click on that, it brings up a new window. And in here, it gives you the opportunity to check this box to say the project contains content in more than one source language. So if I was to uncheck, oh, if I was to remove some of these languages, for example, this is probably how it comes at the beginning. You would click on here and you could click on Auto Detect and it will detect the languages inside the source document, which it's done correctly. If it didn't, you can add them uh, manually yourself and then help it as you're working to make sure you use the right um, translation memory. Now, very quickly, the, the points to note here are that as I go down through these segments, if you watch where it says segment source language, this should change to match the segment language that it recognizes in the source. And you can also see down through the bottom here, because I've already translated these, which translation memory is being used. So for the first segment here, I'm in um, the German to English. As I move to the second one, notice this is now changed to Chinese, and I'm now getting a context match from my Chinese to English. If I move down to the next one, I'm now in the French to English. This has changed, and my translation memory has changed. And if I go down to the Russian, I'm now working in my Russian, and this has changed as well. And in a nutshell, that's how any TM works when you're working with multiple languages. You don't have to have this with this open. I just did that to show you uh, what that looked like. So you could close that and work in normal mode, and it would be correctly picking the languages as you work down. So if you check in the bottom down here, you can see that I'm picking up the correct translation memory as I'm going. And that's it. Piece of cake.